There is a woman in my family that is responsible for managing my late father's very hard-earned estate. And when he agreed to do things for me, he agreed on his own behalf in the intelligence and the interfacing with me. When siblings started to take over that situation, I was responsible for helping my father when he was losing his handwriting to write checks, not really to balance the accounts because he could still do that in his mind, but he would tell me, write this check and I'll sign it, and I would do that. When it was time to pass that over, I didn't even have the chance to explain what I had been doing. I had a Till of the Sun Hun sister who walked in and took over, humiliated me with the company that I was working with, destroyed my relationships in every way that I had established, and literally fucked me over when we had employees falling asleep on the job who were supposed to be awake because my father was always an early morning tinkling guy. And I would be told by God to wake up and go over, literally at four in the morning. I'd find that $10 an employee sleeping on the sofa. I didn't mind so much because I got it. When you're a babysitter, people that sometimes happen. And when I was a babysitter in high school, the parents who would stay out late on the weekend say, it's really okay once the kids are asleep if you need to fall asleep today. It's okay. They understood it because they were wealthy doctors and wealthy educated people who understood the human body and what it needs at different ages and stages. They had an adoptee son and then they uh, automatically got a miraculous one that they had worked their whole life to have. The adoptee son was a little devil and he was a devil by age three. Hopefully he turned out okay. Who's to say what the wealthy will do with me? But what I can tell you is that in that time of my father's dying, she was always the one who was lying. And openly, she was supposed to pay a simple bill for me of $100, but she chose to tell my mother it didn't need to be paid. And openly, that was a lie that she made. She wasn't responsible for that bill, but my mother had told me she would pay that $100 bill so I could focus my money on something else. And since that time, she's been abusing my rights, stealing my property, moving it around, taking over lies in terms of her lies around town, literally abusing and obliterating a contract that my mother never signed in that space and if my mother was taken into signing that place nobody authorized it by me that little bitch is carrying around documents that don't belong to her she's been ruining my property probably selling it off with her alcoholic husband he nearly bankrupted them and lost her house that's the kind of shitbag she married